And just like that, we are back with another episode of the Green Table Podcast. Y'all already know what to do. Drop a like. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And you got to click all. You can't leave it all personalized. You got to click all. One extra click and you'll get notified for every time that we drop something. And until then, let's rock out. Yo, like, who this dude think he is? I don't know, but he think he out here doing something. See, that's why I don't really be fucking with him like that. Oh, God, bro, niggas be acting funny, B. <laughs> Yo, y'all really don't know who that is? Nah. Uh-huh. Bro, that's the Dep Lord. Dep Lord. Dep Lord. On the come up, I'm just getting started. I didn't even get in my bag. Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating. Don't talk about popping no tags. No tag. I spend the block as I'm patient. Come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash. Yeah. You wanna smoke with the demon, but now you done seen it. I hope that you ready. So mad, cause they see me on the come up. I'm just getting started. I didn't even get in my bag. My Man, bag. I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating. Don't talk about popping no tags. No tag. I spend the block as I'm patient. Come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash. Yeah. You wanna smoke with the demon, but now you done seen it. I hope that you ready to clash. Yeah. Ooh. Huh, graduated from the streets at the top of my class my You class. won the world and let's get it I told you I'd live it, all you had to do was just ask just I know before I was chilling, just trying to get millions Now all of that shit in the past the I past. take it up to the ceiling, however you willing Just hope that you ready for class Run Ooh. down, not do this shit with no mask. no mask If they won't call it a race, we gon' laugh them Cry like a baby when you get back at them They here for the now, but they never gon' last gon Why? Last. Slow through my life like a turtle But you get too close and I'm ready to snap Rules to the game and they all universal If you break a rule, then you never come back Huh? Living my life, I'm just chilling. Big plate, I'm gon' eat, they gon' eat out the trash. Huh? Once they find out you a clown, gotta leave out of town and you never come back. I sit around my encounters, I'm loving the sound that it make when it get to a stack. And I show nothing but love, but if you a hater, then fuck y'all, I know I so mad. Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag. Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating, don't talk about popping no tags. I spend the block cause I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash. You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you done seen it, I hope that you ready so mad. Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating, don't talk about popping no tags I spend the block cause I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you done seen it, I hope that you ready to clash Honey K play, honey bun K, you don't want smoke with this right here, know what you say Swing by your way, get caught in my headlights like, dear, watch what you say Don't become prey, and then that niggas is so damn weird I'm from the bay, he from upstate, told you before that this all year so sick, no suit, big business, no suit, sedan truck, no coupe, long leg room, big shoes, mirror crop, my mood, all my ops is food, all my ops was fools, hard cold like ice cubes, always woke, no snooze, all this smoke, no booze, all good days, no blues, except for what I got in pocket, cause you know I'm gon' get it, leave me alone with your home, fuses get blown, cause I'm gonna grow in it, I stay with them plans, you stay with them zans, so you might be gone in four minutes, don't blame me for all of your goals unachieved, you just a whole nigga. Why they so mad? Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag. Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating, don't talk about popping no tag. I'll spend the block cause I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash. You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you done seen it, I hope that you ready they so to mad. Clap. Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag. Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating, don't talk about popping no tag. I'll spend the block cause I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash. You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you done seen it, I hope that you ready to clash I bust them down, Lamborghini doors, it's automatic Won't leave the crib without a couple hundreds, that's a habit Until I find a way to flip the money, I'm gon' stash it If Frosty find a better hustle, swear that I'm gon' pass it You sit down at the table, bring your own, cause I ain't passing To shorty, yeah, bustin' through the bag, the shit is gassy I'm getting well, staying well, living out my passion The green table pull you up and see we gettin' active What you want? Gas, green, perp, turp, frost, work, trike, burnt, nose, diesel, candy, skunk, earth Small bow full of heat, hologram surf, spin a buck, 20 mic, bundle lit up with a shirt. This the green table, bitch. You know, hands full of dirt, racks full of clones. Some gon' get gone, some staying home. Son on the phone, asking Papa to come home. I'll be right back when I get rid of this last zone. I'll be trapping like I ain't the nigga half. I love the action. Can't get this far without the passion. That's why they lacking on them racks, and I'm relaxing on my back, adding. Packs, decimals, and commas not acceptable to jump. I 
Bought some down Lamborghini doors, it's automatic Won't be the crib without a couple hundreds, that's a habit Until I find a way to flip the money, I'm gon' stash it If Frosty find a better hustle, swear that I'm gon' pass it You sit down at the table, bring your own, cause I ain't passing This shorty, yeah, bustin' through the bag, the shit is gassy I'm getting well, staying well, living out my passion The green table pull you up and see we getting active We back. Yeah. How the vocals? Good? Everything good. Everything good? Cool, man. I can't well, hear well, shit. Well, as good as it can be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For real, man. Ain't no What's effort now. We good to go. What's up with it? Man, what's good with you? Man, I'm out here uh, out here gone, man. Out here flying around, man. And you know? That, my, my boy done hit the flight on him. Yeah. Gotta, gotta go. Gotta go. But yeah, it's hot as fuck out here, man. It's oh. hot as fuck. Even inside the house with the fan on and the AC is just burning up. Hotter Shit than where crazy. you came from? Hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. It's a different type of heat. It's that sticky heat, man. It's like oh. it's like 60% humidity all the time. 102 degrees. Steve. It's just it... it's just crazy. I know them mosquitoes out there are bossing. I don't know. I don't fuck with them. I ain't. I ain't yeah, seen them. Ain't going. Ain't going out there now. Ain't going out there. <laughs> hell no. Nah. Yeah. Hell no. What about you? Everything cool? Yes, sir. It's been a productive week, <laughs> but one hell of a week. And the week went by so quick. It's like that. The next thing I know, I looked up and it was the end of the week already. Man, I miss my plants so bad. Oh, I know it's way different not being able to see them every day. I like. Yeah, like the first three days, I wasn't tripping. I was like, wife got it three days. And then it's like, damn, four days, five days. It's like, what y'all doing? I want to see yeah. y'all, man. <laughs> and, 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 you never, and you never feel like things are going quite right if you ain't got your hands on it. You feel like that, though. But I'm pretty sure when I get back, I'm going to see I'm gonna see everything been taken care of. It ain't of that course. hard. It Especially ain't that now hard. that you done got the drip tape and everything. Like, Yeah, that part pretty easy. And everything's just water. You know what I mean? That's I got it. water, water in the greenhouse, water on the uh, the other the other outside uh, project I'm doing is just straight water. So there's that, nothing yeah. to fuck up, nothing to that, fuck that, up. That makes it easy because on the hot yeah. days, that's the main thing they need. Like as soon as I know, it's fresh water to be cooking the next day. Fresh yeah. water, fresh water. And that's Something another thing for you guys. Who, for you guys who are feeding outdoor on days when it's super hot. They prefer fresh water. Like they're they're not looking. How, how much do you? How hungry are you when it's a hundred plus outside? Like how much are you looking to eat when that when it's that hot outside? You're not looking to Bro. eat much your damn self. Yeah, like the last two days, I ain't even been hungry. You it's go outside, hot. you don't get hungry. You be like, I need to get some. I need some water. I need water I need bottles. Some water, like, some fruit, some watermelon, yeah. something. Yeah, but Shit, but the is. last thing you're thinking is a is a nice hot meal, and that's basically nah. what nutrients are. So th there's more than enough, especially if you've been feeding that they could get away with some fresh water and they'll thank you more for it. You'll notice if you run your rooms hotter, you'll get salt build up faster because they'll drink the water and leave the salt. Yeah, that's what they do. They drink the water first. So they it's like, really, first. if you're running that water hot, you don't need I don't think you need that high ass EC like that. bro. Like, Hell no. You don't need that shit. And it's something nope. they left out. It's like, yo, run your rooms warm. Make sure the humidity is good, and just feed, 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 feed. And then nobody tells the whole story. Never. No one tells the whole complete story. It's like, yeah, this is how we do it. Okay, We're like how you how you get around this? Oh, well, that's something. It's different for every room. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, 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 then that the finally comes out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I yeah. I'd rather just lay it out on the table to begin with. Like no backyard looking crazy, man. Oh, that shit my own, good, man. It's my own little paradise, man. Yeah. And it's crazy because I, I haven't watered hardly any the whole season. Ground That's cover. amazing. That's amazing. Ground cover. And then once the plants get big enough, they create ground cover. Yeah, yeah they, 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 shade every, they shade they everything shade out everything. themselves. Yeah, they shade yep. everything out themselves. So that, that was a major plus right there. I just, I just love going back there now, just staring. All sorts of thing. different birds, everything now. That's the thing about those plants and the bushes and shit. They say full sun, but really, you don't need like full sun like that. No. They don't need full sun. 
they need they it really for about don't. four to six hours a day. If they could get a good six hours a day of smack dab sunlight, they'll they'll do great. Cause I ain't gonna lie, my grapes, right? It's so hot. You could water them grapes a lot, like thirty minutes. You could water them for thirty minutes, and at that top of the top of the noon, they'll still be like drooping and looking sad. So when I when I'm driving past vineyards and I see none of that sadness happening, all I can imagine is how much fucking water are you really feeding a grape? Oh on? yes, oh that tons of water. I'm talking tons about is you can't talk about the marijuana industry without talking about that because they no. stay drinking way more water. And and you got to think about other crops too. It's not just grapes. It's a lot of other crops that take a lot of water. A lot, man. I'm talking about they out there full full sun from seven to seven. You know what I mean? No, just all no sun. ground cover. No, no ground nothing. cover. Nothing. Just bare ground, sun beating on it. They're pruning to make sure there's good uh, light penetration and air movement. They're getting mm -hmm. rid of all the dead material, and then they're hauling it up out of there. And it's causing them to have to use more water. I, Hell of water. It's just ass, it's just ass backwards. Like When you guys found these grapes growing by themselves, did you see them in an area where there was nothing covering the ground? Did you find them in an area where the sun was just blasting on them all day? Like Where, where, where you had to... Uh, now you got to assist them with extra water. That's not how you found them. And how they much water? And how much water does it take to make a bottle of wine? And at that rate, ask yourself how much it takes to make a bottle of five, sip five to fifteen dollar bottle of wine. How much water did it take for that? Well, yeah. we're talking about probably thousand gallons. Yeah, easily. More. Easily. Tons probably of water. Probably more but, than but that. But they'll come to us and be like, you guys are using way too much water. You guys got to recapture your water and you got to do also. Well, if that's the case, then these people need to learn how to be more sustainable. Then Don't exactly. come and say nothing to us about sustainability and they don't have to worry about it in any way, shape or form. And it's way more damaging. For real, man. Way more damaging. Yeah, but How's the, the garden? Uh, uh, the garden is great. Um, I'm in week four flower in the indoor beds. Uh, I need to flip the other room, but I need more clones, so I got to wait. Um, they're, they're overgrown. They're going to be overgrown again. But there was a seed hunt in there, so I wanted to see if a bunch of stuff would show sex first. That way I don't have to cut clones of shit that I don't need anyway. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. They make my life easier if I know I could just take those out of the bed now. Hell yeah. You think, uh, I can't wait till the future of sex testing be a little cheaper. You know yeah. what I mean? Instead of like $12 per plant. Like, if we get it down to, like, five, that'd be, like, great. You know what I mean? Hell you yeah. could just have sex tests on hand and just go ahead and ship them off. But, like, 10-pack for 120 150 It's like, ah, uh, I don't know. Do I really <laughs> want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I could just, I, I'll be just cheap wait it out. And something else, it was, it was just too hot. I didn't want to flip them in that kind of heat. I don't yeah. mind it in the beginning of the flowering round, but I don't want them to finish in that. Okay. Yeah, so so that's the reason I'll flip the other room within the next couple of weeks. So they'll they'll deal with the heat for a couple of weeks, and then once it gets towards the end of flower, it'll be cooling down. So it'll be perfect. What did you decide to do on the uh, on the greenhouse? Oh, it's out of there. Replaced it. Replaced it. Yeah, there there were certain sections that were gonna finish. I left those, so I'll leave those ones to finish up because they were close enough. Okay. But okay. but everything else got the hell out of there because there were some that there was. They would have took so long to finish and tighten up and do what I wanted them to do. It wouldn't have been worth that wait. Just waiting. It probably would have took double the time. It would have. It would have. Yeah. And I had and I had plants waiting to go in the ground. So I'm like, nah, these got to get up out of here. Hell yeah. Yeah, I took those. So some of them actually just got killed and laid right down. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, chop and I, drop. Yeah, I don't need all of it. So I just some chop of the ones drop. that were that weren't doing nothing, I just killed them and left them right there. I noticed when I listen to uh, like Jeremy from Builder Soil every now and then, mm -hmm. and he's talking about picking leaves, pulling leaves, and he's throwing them in a worm bin. But it's dope because what you're doing is bypassing all that shit. You're bypassing a whole another section, another process, another step by just drop that shit where it's at. The worm's already in there. They're going to get it when they need it. Yes. And a poop right there. It's going to be all available. I don't have to go to the worm bin and move that around, get the castings, do this and do that. 
Just leave the beds alone. Straight living soil. That's real living soil right there. Yes. That's the soil that that's really like outside soil. You know what yes. I mean? And what you don't want to do is you got to be meticulous about it. Like you have to look and notice if you have too much chop and drop going on. So if there's a bunch that still hasn't been broken down, nothing's happened with it yet. Give it some more time before you drop some more because you don't want to turn your beds into a gigantic compost pile because then the soil will get too hot. It'll start causing you issues. So you that's the, those. Gigantic, OK, so it's a method to it. It is. You got to do it periodically and you want to make sure that shit is disappearing as you're adding new stuff. Got you. Got yeah, you. So you, you don't, don't want to chop and drop. Before the old stuff is kind of broken down and took away already. At least a decent portion of it. And then you can okay. look in certain parts and you can see where, okay, over there, they broke all of that down over there. And then you could throw leaves in those places in the meantime. But yeah, other uh, in other places. Because yeah. every every spot not going to be full of chopping and chop. That's kind of no. hard to fully do it unless you specifically did a cover crop that you're going to go ahead and uh, pay over. It goes but, back uh, and forth. So it'll yeah, be certain sections yeah. that'll be full at the moment. So you fill up the empty sections. When those, by the time those empty sections are empty again, the other ones would have been empty too, and now they're full. And it just keeps going back and forth. When one's full, you just let it keep going back and forth. But if you do it all at once, you'll turn it into a big ass compost pile. You'll you'll feel the heat coming off your soil. You you don't want that. You don't want that. That's too hot. That's too much. Yeah. Save that for the worm bin. If you got that much chop and drop and that much stuff to get rid of, worm bin that stuff. Yeah, if it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. If it's really a lot. So probably, yeah, yeah. That build of soil, um, it's a lot of information, man. It is. It's a lot, man. What I try to do is make it as easy as possible. Like, man, grow, grow a big cover crop, hay it over, that starts the first layer. There's always going to be more that grows back through the hay. You're always going to have leaves to pick off keep that process going is something hitting that ground and getting broken down and you won't have to worry about taking it out of the room to get it composted to bring it back into the room afterwards the worms will do it right there and they'll make yeah. new worms they'll make more worms they'll like you can't touch a section of that bed that's not loaded with worms yeah like mendo dope i was watching how they was doing it and they was chopping the cover crop and they chopped it and then they put compost over that cover crop and then planted some more cover crop Outdoor was that, that, was that outdoor that may done? work. Yeah, outdoor that may work yeah. because of uh, uh, the heat, uh, everything else. There's some factors outdoor that may allow that to work. Rain, other stuff, but I, I would not advise that indoor. Okay. To, to chop, drop, and then compost over that. Over that. That's what they yeah, did. It was like, yeah, we're gonna add more compost over that. Then throw some more seed out. Now it's like, damn, that's a well, lot. Well, the seed will eat some of it, but I wouldn't risk that. That sounds like it'll just get way too hot because everything under that compost has to now compost. That's going to bring mm -hmm. some heat. And then the compost itself is active. That's going to add some heat. That's just too much in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. That was on the last, uh, the last video. And I was watching, I was like, the, the, the cover crop looked at amazing chop and drop. I was like, cool. But then when they came with the wheelbarrow, the compost, I'm like, whoa, that's, Dang. That was the that's what the chop and drop is about to do. I, yeah. Why would you add more <laughs> on top of it? Like I, I don't know. I'd have to know my compost like a motherfucker to be able to. You would have to know how hot that. it is. Yeah, yeah because yeah. Uh, I would have to know that it's not too heavy on nitrogen. Would have I been composting this whole time? Like I, I would just have to know. I I wouldn't do that. If I'm gonna chop and drop now, I would let that compost itself first, and then once that's gone, maybe add some compost after. But I wouldn't do both at the same time. Mm. If you a nerd help reusing your soil, if how you high? Need help. Oh, if you need help reusing your yeah. soil, how high tech could your farm possibly be? I don't understand the question. Maybe I missed something. Yeah. It I'm seems like, like a lot of people in the comment ask like not specific, man. Like not specific questions. I don't know. Reusing Maybe the I soil. Something. Where did we talk about reusing the soil from? But anyway. Yeah, I don't have nothing to give. I have nothing to offer about what I've seen or anything. Since last week, what did I have? Uh, two days. Um, those two days was just spent in a little room. I'm doing the pheno hunt in a living room, in a little room. Okay. And what I'm doing is just, uh, man, they so they manicure so nice. I, I, I put them, I, like the seed stalk, I got like this much or nothing. Just That's all beautiful. the way up. And it's just left like a little bitty 
little bitty like four branches basically like four or six branches right there and it was a week later of flower and you can see that just filling in it's gonna be nice it's gonna be really nice actually yeah, and i got it in some soil where i'm just giving it straight water for 30 days so yeah i'm just trying to be more uh, sustainable man if That's we got soil like that future. especially like soil for flour and I'm going to use some soil, then I'd just rather use that soil and leave it alone for 30 days. Mm -hmm. Then amend it after that. It should be yep. all right. And it, it'd be good to go. Yeah. That makes sense. Or, or if it shows me, you know what I mean? If it shows me something, a little bit of yellow. And that's one thing else, too. When you see that little bit of yellow, you got to add it. I waited too long. On the outside, I waited too long. Oh, yeah. And that shit just kept creeping up. I'm like, damn, hurry up and work. Hurry up and work. So by the time I get back with all that water and the uh, water and the food in, it should be straight. You know how you could buy yourself some time? What? Foliar feed some Epsom in the meantime. Hmm. Foliar feed the Epsom. Yeah, because okay. they'll they'll be able to intake that right away, and it'll at least be enough to keep them going until like they can process what what's been the, given to them the, at the root zone. Yeah. So it's a quick cheat code. Okay. And yep. uh, worm casting teas would be your best friend in those kind of situations. Because it's packed with nitrogen, huh? Readily available nutrient. Even if you just put worm castings on the top and water it in, it's readily available right away. Okay, okay. That's what I should have did then. Now, now what if... the, the other nutrients they give you, the other powdered nutrients that you use for top feeding, they'll still take some time to, to work themselves into the soil. They're not available right away. They, it may be five or six days before the roots realize that that's there. But the worm castings, the second you water it in, they take it right away. Okay, that's what I should have did. Because people don't like we don't think about that too much. We got to keep that in mind. Like when we buy and say we buying some organic food, if it's not cannabis specific, we have to adopt it in a different way. Like that food I should have put in after four weeks instead of the recommended eight weeks because it's a cannabis plant. It's not eat more. a fucking tomato or anything like that. They're really eating. So after four weeks, I should have amended it with the bloom, then watered that in instead of waiting that long. So now I know for next time, though, you know, it's a learning process. Yep. You Definitely. just you, you develop the method little by little. Yeah. So like in this little room, they say 30 days. So probably day 20, day 21, I'll probably go ahead and add a little bloom in there. So it could just keep on do. keep on this momentum. You know what I mean? Uh, or like they, you said, add some earthworm castings. Might just add that to the top and water that. You in. add the earthworm castings; they'll take that in right away. Yeah. No Will time, they burn? No, time. no, you can never give them too much. Really? Mm -mm. Okay, that's what I'll do then. A day, uh, like day twenty, then. It, it's Go like an ongoing. Just... It's like an ongoing soil joke. Like how many? How much worm castings is too much? No one knows. Really? No, no one has any idea. Yeah, especially if you put in if you if you start in soils with seventy percent. Earthworm castings and like you know what I mean? 30%. What what was it? 70 earthworm castings, 30% cocoa. That's a that's another good one because that uh, retain a lot of water. Yeah, yeah, that would retain a lot of water. I'd yeah. be worried. I that'd be my only worry is that it would retain a lot of water and I'd risk root rot or some other kind of problems. Or you just don't water it. I don't water as much, yeah. Yeah. Don't water, but uh, yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. Yeah, like you, you really got to about dry pockets. Every, like you every know. little thing you do is gonna have a reaction. That's why and you I might not like know. You might not know the reaction. Beds are big pots for soil. Beds yeah. are big, big ass smart pots or beds. That's that's the best method to me. And I'm not yeah. reusing no soil. I'm not dumping it out and trying to re break it up and amend it and put it back in. I'm not doing none of that. If I'm doing soil. Is no till in some way, shape, or form. I'm not, I didn't choose soil to have to do as much work as I was doing at hydro. That's and what do you think about a perl the perlite ratio of soil inside of the beds? Like, what do you think is a good ratio for that? Because you want to maintain moisture, you don't want drybacks I'm, like that. I'm gonna be a honey, whatever pro mix uses. Because if you try to build it yourself with like peat and perlite. That ratio ain't the same, and you'll notice the beds that you use ProMix as the base for tend to do better than the ones you made yourself. Okay. So I, I'd rather use ProMix as a base, whether you use the BX or the HP. That's that's that part's up to you. But uh, I prefer to just start with ProMix as a base. You can do peat 
and try to add the bird light yourself, and it doesn't work the same. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't get that big. Probably got that blend. shit down. Yeah, probably has got that down to a science. Yeah, man. I was. Uh, it's so many different ratios, and it's so many ways you can grow cannabis. That's what makes it so fun, and you can continuously talk about it because everybody has their own unique ways, man. And it's just it's crazy, man. You know You'll what see I see some things and be like, "What the hell is he doing?" But then it's working. You, you know, know what, what I, mean? I don't do that everybody else do? Fucking ratios. Like I, I, I don't have no time for all of that. Like some people the plant try to don't care about no ratio to me, and it's just chaos. If you ask me, like. How much how much cocoa did you add to your soil? No fucking clue. I just added some cocoa to it. I added enough that I thought it was enough. That's it. Because how can you really measure it besides getting the fucking scale out? Yeah, I gave it a couple of bricks. That's that's all I know. Yeah, I, I gave it about uh one one slab per four by four, I guess. I, I don't know. Because yeah. then I also added in root balls at the bottom that were made of cocoa. That's gonna eventually break down into more anyway. Then if I'm vegging in cocoa or something or, and then I put that into the beds, it's going to be more. So I don't know ratios and all of that. It's chaos to me when people try to describe it. Like, it's how, you, Do you know how hard it is to get those corners not to be a corner full of perlite? You know what it's I mean? It's terrible. Like a little piece, just nothing but perlite. Like that yeah, shit is hella just hard to mix, straight man. through. I have, I have no idea. I don't care to know. Uh, this is something for people who inbox me. If you inbox me and you're in a four by four, and you describe how you grow to me, and it's a it's a fucking novel or paragraph. I promise you, I'm not reading that. I'm just gonna be like, "What are you doing? Like, yeah, what are you do doing? You do. How are just you in you a do. four by four and you're doing more work than I do?" That's a lot. That's crazy. That's a lot. Like you're doing way too much. Like ninety percent of what you just said is unnecessary, and I didn't even read it. And I'm gonna tell you, ninety percent of it is unnecessary. I could describe my entire method of growing in a couple of sentences. 70% cocoa, 30% worm castings. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think it was the other way around. I was talking talking about uh what's that home grow TV? Remember I sent you that link? Home grow yeah. TV, the guys in Columbia. They grow different, man. They grow in like big ass clay pots and shit. They grow different, but they grow some fire. They grow some, mm -hmm. they do a really good job. But it's mostly worm castings, man. It's all you need. It's mostly worm castings. And if you look at soil, it's mostly worm castings. They never say a ratio though. Yep, like if worm. you look at soils like regular soil, they're not telling you the ratio of what's mixed in there. Hell no. They don't know. They just didn't they really? Yeah, they just adding shit, moving it around, mixing it forever till that shit is a nice even, even blend. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna be a hundred. There's no good When's time. a good time to defoliate and flower? To me, there's no good time. Just do it periodically throughout flower, and by the end of it, you'll get the same results as anybody who chooses a day to massively strip. It'll turn Keep out it the real. same way. To keep it real, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna really grow and you want the best quality of, you want the best quality top shelf everything, spend two, spend two to three hours every day in your garden. That's and it. And you'll know exactly what to pull when you want to pull. You'll know what to pull. You'll see it because you'll be in there yeah. a long time. You'll know what to pull. They say to me all the time, "Yo, you're gonna need, you're gonna need some big trimmers in there to get ready to get through that jungle." And I'm like, "It's not as much leaves as you think, and you gotta think as weeks go on." They're in flower. They're not going to grow any more leaves after this. So as I'm pulling leaves, those leaves will never grow back. After They're this. not growing back. They're not they, growing they, back. Yeah. So I have I have eight weeks to, to get this down to a decent ratio by the time I chop them down and dry. That is very easy to do, especially, again, if you spend it two or three days in your garden, two or three hours in your garden per day or at least every other day. If that's what you're doing, eventually you'll get rid of those leaves that don't need to be there. Yeah. And that's the thing, though. A lot of people don't spend that much time in their garden. Like me, I'm, I'm guilty of that because I try to do hella multiple things. And then I have like a focus day on this room. Like I'll focus on that room or I'll focus on this room. But like for you guys out there, home growers that have the four by eight, four by four, 10 by 10, 20 by 20. As long as it's one room, go focus on that room every day. Every day. Every day. Just go out, go in there every day and just look, look around, touch all oh, that. Could come you off. know what you guys this need to come off you know what i mean you need that gml work ethic like be like, in there he's so meticulous that he will sit in there for hours just to make sure that a fan is putting enough wind over in this direction way over on the other side of the road he will sit there and monitor for hours. i'm not gonna say you guys need that though I'm no not i'm not say saying you, you need, need that, that but i'm saying that kind of dedication just to think in your mind like i want this to be that perfect yeah 
that's I a lot. To, I want this to be that perfect. And he don't and he don't play. He gets the results he wants every time. Yeah. I told but my two, wife the other day that good. I made up my mind and I'm going to use those two 11 by 11 rooms to do two nine by nine tents. And she was still she got was like, around. She was like, I don't know. I don't know. But I know 10, I was like, you ain't understanding. <laughs> Everything I, I put in the tent turned Fire. out absolute, beautiful, gorgeous, Fire. with the most minimal attention to details like yes minimal and it just it turns out so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try that out it's it's worth it man what's the nine by nine tent going for about 500 so i spent a thousand dollars on two tents i got the lights and then and in a tent also you don't have to have no big ass lights like you do in a room no you don't you need got, it you got the reflection styles in a tent oh you're crushing you're killing you're gonna game. crush you're killing the game you're going to crush. And I got four because uh, I'm breaking down that one room. So I'm going to have eight lights available Ooh. to do whatever I want to do with. So I'm definitely using those and four that's the 650 room that yards. The... Oh, okay. Four 650 yards and a nine by nine. I already know it's going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. Height, height just be an issue, but the tents basically got the same height as a room does. I'm going to use the Gorilla Grove tents. I'm gonna go ahead. No, I'm not using those because those cost a thousand dollars. I'm using um, uh, what's the other ones? AC Infinity. AC Infinity. I don't know. I gotta check because I think the AC Infinity only has a uh, ten by ten and an eight by eight. So oh, I gotta, I gotta, gotta see get right which in the one. middle. I need the nine by nine, man, because the ten by ten, it'll work. But I got my uh, dehumidifier. Oh, now I can move that. If I'm not using that. So yeah, I got some options. Will you still need the DHU at some point? Yeah, and I can, and I'm still using it. I'm just saying I can remove it from that location. Oh, okay. Where it's at, so it won't be in the way. But ten by ten, that's gonna be too big. I don't want to do that big. I want that what, shit 10 nice by 10? and tight. Yeah, I want it nice and tight, man. I want none, no photons lost, no yeah, extra I need, space. I, I need everything. Everything, yeah. I'm gonna try it out. And I, I think it'll work great. I, I've seen tents boom. I've just never. I never flowered in one. Never flowered in a tent? You got to try it, man. Yeah, I flowered in. If you tried that, you'll be like, oh, shit, I found the strain I was looking for. Find it right away. That's how you're going to feel. Then yeah. when you take that and put it in the room, you're going to be like, I wonder what's going on. That's what happens. I swear to God. People act like they crushing. They got this, they got that. Go share that tent to somebody with a room, and it's not going to be the same. Mm-mm. And you're gonna try to blame it on the grower, and it's not the grower, it's just the reflection, man. Those, you those can't mimic that reflection mean. unless you can get that tent material and put that all around your room. I even looked into that, but it's like um it's not dense enough. It's something okay. with that density, also. Like you can get mylar, you can get mylar like a roll, but it's so thin, it's not gonna act the same as it, that thick ass tent. Because okay. those grooves, those grooves are thicker. So that photon is hitting it, bouncing this way, bouncing all kind of different ways after it hits it. And then if it's on the wall, just a, like a mylar film on the wall, it's just going to go bing, boom, bing, boom, instead of boom, bow, bow, bow. Like, you know what I mean? It's a difference. It's really a difference, man. They scientists, man. They they figured that shit out. Intense is oh, what yeah. Oh, yeah. Vivo Sun with the extended roof. How you got the extendo on the roof? Yeah, because it'd only be like 80 inches. You be needing that extra, you be needing that eight feet sometime. Yeah. Bad bad enough you in a tent. That that's my main issue is having to do any kind of work inside of that tent would drive me mad. You're not doing no work inside of the tent like that. You 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 can open up all your doors. That's why I want to use a nine by nine. Because you can open up on all sides. So if you got work to do, just open the side of the tent. Anything you're thinking about, the tent took care of it already. They already okay. figured that yeah, shit yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you imagine have to put the stuff tent in like the middle of the room, right? Yeah. And, that, and, and you that got way a, you a able foot to get and a half. Way around it. Yeah, you got a foot and a half on each side. That's going to be cool. Even if it's a foot on each side, you can still kind of squeeze in there, open that shit up, get in there, do what you got to do. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to measure everything out. I'll, I'll, I'll keep everybody posted, man. Cause, yeah, because yeah, you know we want to see that. It's time for that five. Yeah. Nah, stop. Because I, I see facilities, and they're pumping out a lot. 
But then when I when they finally get to like their flower rooms, I do not be impressed. I'm like, yo, I say it again. More... Say it again. Say it, say it one more time. Like you I said, see you these, see what these big ass facilities they tore them, and then finally you get to like the the harvest room, the flower room where the trimmers is is getting busy and packaging is going on, and you just look at the flower and be like. That's the low plates out here. Like, we see shit like that on a regular basis, and our first thought is it better be cheap. This is what's hitting the dispensary shelves. American compared to what booth. high desert, compared to what high desert bloom is growing. American booth. That's what we turn it into. It'd be a letdown because the plants look so good and the facility is so nice, and they got so many buttons they could push to do so much shit. And then finally you get to the end. And they showing you the harvest, they showing you the trimming, and you just like, y'all did all that work for that? Keep it real with you, man. Genetics are key. It is. Not everybody has access to those genetics, even a facility. It doesn't matter. The people that are selling genetics like to facilities also sell genetics to niggas on the street. That's mm -hmm. a fact. So yeah. those those people, they don't get the cuts. Because they're too loose with the cuts. Do you see what I'm okay. saying? So when you see those dispensaries that's crushing and you see the quality, you be like, damn. Yeah, they getting those cuts. They getting those cuts. Them not getting out to everybody at all. Makes sense. They're not getting out. Makes sense. And some and I'm just like, yo, Miracrop.com, like, what what are y'all growing in here? Like some of the strains, they be so far behind. It's just like, why are you growing that right now? And then you're That's not even growing. Want. Then you're not even growing it good. Like, I honestly think, I honestly think that everybody got a right to grow what the fuck they want to grow. Just Definitely. keep growing what you want to grow because you got to get it out your head. You've been, you've been hearing about, so let's say, um, let's say apple fritter. You heard about it for years, but you never got a chance to see what it do. Mm -hmm. So now you got a chance to grow it. That's amazing. Go ahead and do your thing. Get it out. Your you know system. what I mean? Yeah, get it out your system. You got to. Like when I moved up here to uh, to where I live at, I see everybody riding quads and shit. I ain't no quad dirt bike dude. What I do? Go buy a quad. I had to get out of my system. Now that motherfucker collecting yeah. dust in the corner, still worth a bankroll, but it ain't. I'm over it. Hey, yeah, it's, it's over. So now. it's on to something new. So it's like you got to get like stuff out your system. Wave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was every in and out, man. in and out like a fast food restaurant. That was like, the fastest fad in the world, man. I ain't never seen nothing come and go that fast. And, that and, and, and the damn skate shoes, man. The little yeah, skate and, shoes, that shit came. They on. lasted like a strain. It was just like a strain. Like they came in real quick. Everybody wanted it, and it was gone. Yep. Very few strains survived that test of time. But I'll be. I don't know. I that's why I think it's so much hope still in this industry. Because, yeah, there's a lot of places. Yeah, there's a lot of big places. Yeah, there's a lot of massive places. Don't nobody want that shit they're growing, though. I'm be a hundred with you. Like, you ask the average guy, would you rather go to your guy or would you want what I saw on, on some of these shows? They'd rather go to their guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, nothing some about them it got, was impressive. Some of them got fire. Some of them just don't. You know what I mean? It's and rare. that's just, everybody's taste is just different, man. Like, I got a chance to see the Super Booth. It looked good and everything, but it's just orange turp. And like the like they don't want orange? that. Yeah. Like they don't want that. So if it's either you love it, you really love it, or you really or hate you it. Don't. Or you don't. Yeah. There's no in between. And I don't want to like grow something. nothing like that. I want to grow something you really love or you could deal with. And I can fuck with it. I can fuck with it. I ain't mad at it like yeah. that. You know what I mean? I don't want no shit that's like, uh, I don't like that one. Like, nah. I don't want to grow that. And that's what's going to happen anytime you grow anything with orange turps. Like, you're either going to have people who really, really love it, or you're going to have people who really, really don't. It's, it's never going to be like a middle ground on that one. Yeah. Yeah, ice cream cake is a winner. Period. The name that, just get old. It does. That's why they switched up the name so much. Ice cream cake is Obama runs. It's uh, Midnight runs. It's all them runs. All that run shit, that shit, ice cream cake. I wouldn't doubt it. And you got to remember. You'd be surprised I, the bullshit in the game, bro. It's bro, so much bullshit I in the found, game. I found a Fino ice cream cake that was completely different than all the other ice cream cake that was available. I can't imagine what other people found that we now call in something else. And that's not it. It's ice cream cake. You know how easy it is to do that? 
Very easy. Like nobody's testing these genetics when they get it to smoke it. They're not going to take that and send it into a lab. They're going to get told what it is. They're going to smoke it and be like, that was fire. Yeah, that was ice cream cake. Good, no, good no, no, no. That was, that was midnight tsunami runts right there. Yeah, all the new shit. All the new shit. That's what it is. That was lemon cherry gelato. Yeah, that's yeah. what that is. Lemon yeah. cherry gelato. That's what we're going to call this phenol ice cream cake. is like lemony cherry gelato. Con- lemon cherry gelato. That's what yeah. we're going to call it. Ain't have, nothing call to do, it. ain't have nothing to do with none of that. The crosses, nothing had anything to do with any of that. Said Obama runs is Look, fake. That's what I I'm never, talking about. Obama runs is ice cream cake. I never thought Obama runs was real. I thought that it's was just ice like a cream joke. cake. Yeah, it's ice cream cake. That's what it I'm was trying to tell you. You thought I was playing around? Yes, Obama runs. My party's hit me. Yeah, I got these. These are Obama runs. I'm like, okay. I don't say nothing to these niggas because they just be so lost in the sauce, believing whatever uh, homies tell them. You know what I mean? The, you know the, the the Asian homies. They come through with these names and just be like, that's this. Okay. And we all know Asians don't, they don't get rid of cuts they like. No. Hell they no. They don't get rid of that shit. They're going to no. repackage that and rename it a million times. If it's hitting, it's hitting. They're not getting rid of it. So it's like, niggas smoking ice cream cake under so many different assumed names, man. Yep. And that's I, fine. I, I really get, didn't know Obama hey. was an actual strain. I thought it was just like a joke going around. Like, a, like, of course, you're going to name something Obama runs. Like, I, I thought it was just a joke. People I thought was, it was a joke, too, but they ran with it so tough, bro. I'm talking about Let like, somebody come to me talk about, yo, bro, I got some Obama runs. Bye, Felicia. But then when you see it, when you see it, you're going to be like, damn, this shit fire, Smokey. You're like, okay, Obama runs. That's some new shit. First, you heard Obama runs? That's how it's going to be. Because and, you're gonna be like that's some bullshit, but then you smoke, you're like, damn, okay, so Obama runs this shit hidden, and yep. you're gonna go around with that name, get famous with that name, and that's just what it is. Because something you know else, saying? who's to say that the ice cream cake that they gave you is ice cream cake is actually ice cream cake? It's always shit again. That, that, that the, may have never been ice cream cake, and what they gave you as Obama runs might actually be ice cream cake, and and you have no idea. But you know what's you know what's the good thing about it. Fuck them names. Fuck them names. Let the quality speak names. for itself. Is that shit good or not? Facts. Did you buy it for the purpose and get the purpose out of what you bought it for? Yes. Good, my friend. Good. It don't matter what the fuck. Doesn't matter name what the name was. Exactly. I had a nigga. I had a nigga. Uh, what he said he had. Um, Dragon Ball Z. Fire for that. He. Dragon what? Dragon Ball Za. And he like, yeah, I got that Dragon Ball Za. I'm like, that's dope. Yeah. Probably ice cream cake. Probably some gelato 33. But it's you Dragon Ball Za. You that niggas what, be hooked up on these names, man. You know what, guys? I'm sorry. We're going to have to end the show. That's the end of it. Have a great <laughs> Sunday evening Dragon for Ball the rest. Z. We are out of here on that one. He got you. Ain't never heard of the Dragon Ball Z. But I wish I would have screenshotted that shit. But this nigga had like 200 packages and everything. Got that Dragon Ball Z out there moving that shit, moving it, moving it, moving it. And niggas don't care as long as it get them high and it smell and look good. That's really what you want out of your weed, right? Get you high, smell and look good. So if that's covered, you could call it whatever the fuck you come up with that's crafty. You know what I'm saying? There ain't got to be no real strain. What's the cross on it? Nobody asks what the cross on it is. Nobody no asks that in the streets. You see no the bag. One. Yeah, I'm taking no. that. That's fine. But do you know how that. frustrating that is being a grower somewhere where a strain gets big? That's not actually a strain. Like where I'm from, it was gumbo. Everybody, yo, bro, why you ain't growing none of the gumbo? Because it's not a fucking strain. Stop asking me about this goddamn strain, and it's not a goddamn strain. You got to start, start selling niggas jambalaya. It's purple punch you feel and a me? goddamn and a goddamn bag like that. That's it. It's purple punch and a different colored bag like that's it. Got to start selling jambalaya, but I ain't got no gun, but I got jambalaya. They're gonna be like, "What's that?" Yeah, it's that right vegan man. fever right here. This is yeah. this... it's that crab. It's that crab leg. Yes. Come get these crab legs. What else you got? 
we're gonna get a fishy strain soon. I'm telling you, we're gonna we're gonna get a tilapia or a shrimp or, or something soon. Catfish nugget. Oh, they smoking catfish nuggets. I think it's gonna be That's loving that. that. Za, za. That's man. Dragon Ball Za. Ah. ah. Yeah, see, we see the people on this podcast, the people that's watching, we fuck with it like that. The rest of the people that don't look at the internet for weed don't know nothing, nothing, nothing. at all. They don't even know how to look for weed on the Instagram page. They don't do that. No, they just niggas weed. just buying, copping, smoking, selling, whatever they doing. They just doing that. You know what Wait, I mean? We what different. The hell is we that? different people. Yeah, got that red snapping. Whew. All they got to have is red hairs. That's it. They got red hairs, red snapper. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. It's so simple. What's the cross on it? Man, you tripping, bro. I can't look at tell this you shit. all that. Look, look Just at look this. at it. Smell it. Yeah, it's good. And hey, what's the cross? Smell it. <laughs> That's the cross. <laughs> That's the cross. That's Man, the cross right the there. The cross is smell it. Niggas ask me what the cross is on something. I'm like, it don't even matter at this point. I told somebody that. I was like, it don't even matter at this point, bro. No. He didn't say nothing back because he can't really say nothing because it don't. It don't. It really don't. It don't because I could just lie to you. And is you about to come by it? If not, then you ain't going to never know nothing anyway. So it, 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 it don't matter. matter. Anyway. It don't matter. And I'm guilty yeah. of this because this shit is so confusing. It's what causes me to not buy strains because my first question is, what the fuck What's is the, the cross? cross? But don't nobody say what the cross is no more. So just next. Now you just got to go by. Because uh, if I buy something and it got some orange or citrus terps or something like it, it's up. Like I can't deal with that. Yeah, you man. give me something that got citrus terps and I didn't know it. Yeah, no. And I'm <laughs> and I'm flaming your seed company afterwards. Like it, it's uh, only that terp, though. That's the only terp I do it over. Trop, uh, I heard Trop Cherry is different. We'll see. So, we'll see. As soon as I hear Trop, I'm like, mm. Trop is a turnoff to me. Oh, it really is, man. Uh, it's one of the most but the Trop Cherry, now. the Trop Cherry, like how Desert Blooms, I talked to him, I asked him. He said, it, he said it's fire, so I had to grab the cut, but it's like, I really don't have high hopes for it, but I'm going to see. I'm going to see what's up. Mm. It's spicy peppery. Ugh. I don't like nothing like that. I do not like peppery strains. Reminds me of Alien OG. Alien OG kind of got that peppery smell to it. I can't I can't do it. Chop that... Cherry got the streets in a frenzy. Chop Cherry. Somebody gonna rename that shit in like 0.2 seconds. Just to get that chop off. You know what I mean? You, you got to because yeah. I'm you, you see my reaction as soon as I hear Trop. It's just like automatic no. And that goes for anything crossed with it. No, absolutely not. No, I don't care if it's the great, 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 great grandmama. No. See, look, how Desert Bloom said, Trop Cherry, go. Ain't no pepper or spice in it. Now, you see how that quick, you got two different terp, two di Bro, bro, none of this shit matters. None of it matters. Who, what you growing, what you trying to get out of it, man? Because the people don't know. The people don't know, man. It's like, it's crazy, bro. Smell and taste like cherry limeade. See, I can fuck with that. I ain't mad at that. Cherry and lime, I ain't mad at that. Some people don't like cherry, but I don't. I ain't mad at neither one of them. What's cherry the cherry limeade. come from? Where did cherry come from in a chopped cherry? I mean, in a, uh, yeah, in a Tropicana cherry. Like, what cherry strain did they use? I don't know. I'm waiting on the chat to tell me something. Oh. My Tropicana cherry smell, minty, rubbery, and earthy. It's hard to look at this fucking phone and read that shit. What, I'm blind. I can't fruits and cherry? It was gas. And we got to talk about this gas word, man. We talked about it a little bit last week. Bruh. Oh, my God. Now, now I see why that question came up. Bro, out here, every single strain, would it matter of fact, it don't even matter about the strain. Every single piece of weed is gas. It's gas. Everything. All of it. Everything gas. All of it is gas. Ain't none and of I'm it like, gas, but it's all gas. None of it's gas. 
but it's all gas. But it's all gas. And I'm like, damn, now I see exactly where that fucking uh where that question came from, man. It's American booth, man. I'm telling you, the only th- we so lucky, we so lucky to be tapped in a community like this to where we gonna really get good weed. Yes. We gonna really get seeds and clones of good weed because the shit out here ain't good, man. It's not. None of his gas. Tropicana cookies times relentless genetics cherry cookies. Fire for that. Okay. As soon as I see trop Tropicana cookies, it's over for me. Like Tropicana I, cookies, cherry cookies. You know what it is? I can't risk having that smell sitting around me at any. But it's way probably shape. out of it though. It probably I, got I, out of it. I, just I hope. It, I hope it's it. out of it because I, I know what trop cherry uh, trop Tropicana cookie smell you're talking about. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like nothing about Tropicana cookies. My stomach is nothing. flipping thinking about it. That I was that mad about the hype right of there. it. I, and it's fucked up because the, we giving all these strains hype because of a look. Yeah, because it's pretty and purple. That's it. A it's pretty look. as purple as is, is A1. They still get mad at me because most of the strains I smoke don't, none of them turn purple. I don't care about it. Like, Truthfully, when you're on the East Coast, purple usually is not a good sign. Mm-mm-mm. It's be, it's becoming more normal now, but the, that shit was never a good sign. As soon as you get something that's purple, it's like it's probably not as strong. That's your, your first thought. Purple, probably not as strong. Yeah, you could say that, but then you got to think about that good old boy C junkie, man. Oh, he changed it's the purple. game. He it's changed the game. Strong. His purple strong. That shit hit. Yeah. I never smoked nothing from him that I can think of. Smoke that ice cream cake. You didn't smoke it? That's <laughs> crazy, man. What's wrong with these codes, man? What's wrong with you, dude? I've had that ice cream cake for like three, three and a half, maybe four years. That shit's strong. I, I can't think of a time I smoked it. I like the smell of it, though. Yeah, we uh we opening the show later, or? Huh? Frost, Frosty might be busy. Banana cream cake times jealousy. Yeah, I got that cut, too. I'm, uh, apples and bananas times icy mints mail from Tiki. Cross, cross to that right now. Banana cream cake times jealousy. What, what's uh, the cross? Apples and bananas times icy mints from Tiki mm-hmm. cross to the banana cream cake times jealousy. So I got God a room. Damn. I got that across to uh, animal mints, Kush mints, Kush mints, Kush mints. Is, that shit is fire, bro. Kush mints is? Kush mints is fire. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is surprising me. I never seen it because I thought Kush mints was a male only. Now we getting I, into the shit, right? I never, I never knew Kushmits was a female. Like I now we getting into the shit. I thought Kushmits was only used for crosses because it was a male. I didn't know that Kushmits was a female. From what now I had known when it first it. came out, like Kushmits was was a male. Like no one had Kushmits because you couldn't have Kushmits. I th- I wonder if that's a secret. And I wonder when it's gonna come out. Yeah, I wonder if they're just how, how are they taking with all these of these theories and making these. How are they taking film, film cut onlys, making regulars? How how are they doing this? What are they What are they lying about? Maybe they found a male in it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm running some of Square One stuff now. Ken's GDPs. Ken's GDP ain't shit, bro. I'm tired of Ken's GDP. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Ken's GDP ain't shit, bro. I don't care what nobody it, it ain't that, that. It, it Don't put GDP name out there, and that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. That's some. That's some. That's some grandson purple. That ain't no granddaddy purple, man. Ain't no. That ain't that granddaddy. He called it the grandson. Yeah, hey, that's the grandson, man. He ain't him. Oh, I know this ain't happening. You know what? I'm going to give y'all a quick break for y'all to get 30 likes. 
Oh, I gotta yeah. give you. Yeah. I gotta give y'all yeah, a quick tripping. break for y'all to go ahead and get y'all life together because y'all over here tripping. If our likes don't get up to above fifty percent, I'm gonna start playing elevator music. So I'm gonna give you guys a second to get your life together. Uh, yeah, get it together, people. Get our likes up. All right, Green Table family, let's talk lighting for a second. What you're looking at now is the Medic Grow Smart Eight. Visit MedicGrow.com for you to be able to get the Smart Eight. Use the Green Table at discount and receive 10% off. The Medic Grow Smart Eight is a 760 watt LED used for commercial growers, but it's also great for small scale growers. It has the Daisy Chain options. It has everything that you can need. That 660 nanometer red spectrum to be able to get those really decent blooms even though it is a full spectrum like those added 660 nanometers just put that extra oomph into the bulk stage when it comes to growing low energy puts off little to no heat you can put your hand right next to it and you can tell that the dissipation of the heat just goes so smoothly that you feel nothing when you put your hands close to it the expectancy is up to 50,000 hours with a three-year warranty on it it is plug and play as soon as you plug it in that thing is ready to go it is said to cover a 4x4 or a 5x5 but in my humble opinion it covers a 6x6 no issue so if you guys are looking for a light as of right now visit medicgrow.com use the green table at checkout and get you a light that not only folds not only does this light fold it also has a led screen that shows you the wattage being used shows you your dli and it also has a built-in timer right to it so no more of worrying about your timers going out or anything the timer is built directly into the light along with the dial to be able to get it anywhere from zero to a hundred percent of of efficiency so you could turn the light up and down at will that is the medic grow smart a visit medicgrow.com use the green table at checkout yeah yeah it's almost night time and it's time for me to tell you yeah, Look at the time that flew by Dealing with these fools, it's like a job That is part time, yeah But I just be with me, yeah That's the only time I'm peaceful I succeed, and I swear that I'm lethal This is I, go hide, don't look behind Don't be shy What's up with your green table family? I hope all is well, and if not, I hope you get well and stay well. Make sure that you visit mirrorcrop.com. That is mirrorcrop.com for all of your souvenir needs. Make sure that you support the channel. Visit the Patreon. Visit Frosty McNasty Patreon. Visit Beast Coast Grower Patreon for all exclusive content and for first dibs on access to the souvenirs. So that is mirrorcrop.com. Make sure that you visit it. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace. That's where the real fire is at. You know, Granddaddy Purple was. That was an unknown breeder that found a cut, and that shit went around to a few select friends. And when it was gone, it was gone. It was gone. It was gone. Cause that Ken shit, it ain't. It ain't. That ain't it. It ain't. That, that ain't it's gone. just not it. It's not it. And and you come from an area where you guys loved a strain, so it'd be hard for anybody to tell y'all what is and what ain't a certain strain. Like every area has a strain that belongs to them that can't nobody tell them what the real or or fake one is. They granddaddy know. was granddaddy was definitely some Bay Area shit. Yeah, that wasn't no up north. Uh, that wasn't it. No. That wasn't every it. everywhere I you wish, go, people. I had wish somebody could really have some information on that strain though, and nobody seems to know much about it. Nope. I, I never heard much about it. Jeff Davis, I should block you. I should block you from the channel for saying that. If you ain't had it, if you had it, you would know. If you That's had some granddaddy from somebody else, then you just got played. You didn't have, you didn't have it, bro. Ain't nobody smoked that and said it was bad. I promise you. Nobody smoked that and say it was bad. That's why I choose not to speak on it because I'm not from the area where the official one came from. So it's like for, for me to say what I think about it, I might not have had the one that y'all had. You didn't because you couldn't say nothing bad about it. You, you can't. You can't. See, you just, see, you just now, can't. Now and that's how this, it is, bro. But, but 
I've heard people in California say sour diesel is trash. They didn't have a real sour. They didn't have the one we had, that's for sure. No. Nah, the sour was like sour. But you ask the sour average was person not in California, they're gonna tell you sour's trash. Like that's sour wasn't our thing, so we wouldn't even have sour. We would have like a, a different type of sour. You see and what I'm GDP saying? It wasn't ours. That's how I know that exactly. when we got it, it wasn't it. It wouldn't be the same, man. Yeah. So we we definitely had things called Granddaddy Purple. Do I know if that was the actual one or not? No clue. But I know it was that Kins. See that Kins. I had the Kins too. I've seen that before. But this one, that one, that one, that uh, nah, that was undeniable, man. Also. And fairness, anything grape flavored would not have hit over there here during the time where Granddaddy Purple was popular. Anything fruit flavored would not have made a chance over here at that time. I don't care what fruit, choose a fruit of your liking. Uh, it, it wasn't happening during the era where sour diesel was popular. Nothing yeah, that's would have nothing, nothing got a chance to breathe. It see now, I like Candyland. But I don't think that's the I don't think that's now, the you granddaddy. Don't think that's though. the granddaddy. Yeah. I think that I think that's like Ken's granddaddy. You know what I'm saying? Girl Scout times Ken's granddaddy. That ain't that. That ain't. That ain't that's the that's one. not the granddaddy. Granddaddy. That granddaddy gone. Man. What what color purple was it? Like a dark purple? The darkest. Okay. Everything. See, we've Everything. had stuff like that. That it just. Yeah, Ken's like GDP we, is light. That shit ain't even purple like that. I seen some, I seen some a couple days ago. That shit, even he showed me, was like, yeah, he says this, but dang, dang. dang. We've had that granddaddy purple too, where you could barely see any purple in it. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've had the one that was like purple, purple. Yeah, man. Sometimes these cuts just get, get gone, get lost. Yep. They get lost, man. I don't and know then, why they stopped growing it, really, just because cookies got a hype. I would have never stopped growing granddaddy. If, wait, if I had granddaddy, I would never stop growing it. I'd just be known as the, the only until, nigger with granddaddy. It lasted all the way until cookies got popular? As soon as cookies came, it disappeared. And I'm like, that don't make I no sense. I didn't know it was sense. around that long. That don't make no fucking sense. I don't see what niggas was thinking. I would have rather smoked granddaddy. I'd, cookies I'd cookies was fire, but that shit wasn't for me. It wasn't my type of, it wasn't my type of high really. Cookies will put you in the couch for hours. Yeah, I didn't like that. Granddaddy had me high as hell, but it was fun to be around motherfuckers. It was like, it make oh, you like, let's dang. go do something. You know what I mean? Let's go. Like I'm high as shit, but I could, I'm good. You know what I mean? For a long time. Yeah, nah. Cookies, smoke cookies are making you ain't doing nothing. It'll make you a recluse. It'll just make you want to sit in the house by yourself all day and not fuck with nobody, not deal with nobody. Like you, you're just happily in your own zone and your own thoughts with cookies. I think it it made social media more popular. For sure. Because now you're sitting in the house a whole lot more. Yeah, See, man. but then that's when quality in general was still a one and amazing. The quality we were getting back then is unrivaled, like compared to what's out here now. Yeah, oh, that's guess, why. Guess what's floating around now? What? The hot debt packs. I seen some earlier. The hot debt packs. I'm, I'm talking about they look phenomenal. No smell. Damn. Phenomenal looking. I'm talking crystally fire, nice, dense, tight buds. Everything is good. And then you open the bag, nothing. 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 That's fucked up. Like literally, like nothing. Like the no, you know, sometimes they'll give off a little nose. These ones, nothing. Burn them up. And you and you could tell it's a fresh harvest. Cause when you're a grower, yeah. you know. You know. Yeah, yeah you know. When you're when you're a grower, you know. It's fresh harvest. And it's so American booth, man. American booth. That's what that's the stage. That's the stage we at right now. We are in the stage of American booth. You go around different states, you don't know where that shit came from. You don't know if it's Cali. You don't know if it's Oklahoma. You don't know if it's Colorado, Michigan. I haven't even heard about Colorado weed in two years. I don't even know what they do anymore. Colorado still even, got weed? I don't even know nothing about it. I'm like, where the fuck did that go? Maybe I that's talk, what's I out here. To a, I talked to a friend out there not long ago. He had some train wreck or some shit. I'm like, yo. They got left yeah. behind, man. 
Yeah, Michigan, Michigan blew past him real quick. Crushed him. Stepped real right quick. over him like they weren't even there. But here's the thing about Michigan. It's dry. You break down, dust. dust. Wait, Michigan? Dust. It's dry in Michigan? I'm hearing this from somebody that went to Michigan, really fuck with trees, bought shit, and it looked good, smelled good, everything, break down, it's <laughs> dust. It's still smoke, but it's dust smoke. It ain't that nice breakdown, sticky icky. It ain't that. It's just dust smoke. Now I might be wrong. I'm 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 secondhand speaking. You know what I'm saying? I ain't went up there personally and said it, but I do trust this man. It just word. shocks me knowing they're by the lakes. It's dry at dispos for sure most times. Yeah. I yeah I ain't, I ain't going to. I, if you guys ever hear me speak, it's never about a dispensary. I've never. I don't ever speak about dispensary because I don't even know what they weed look like no more. I, I, I bought some shit from dispensary, and it was a a for a uh, a wedding cake. I'm thinking like I ain't never had wedding cake. I hear so much good shit about it. I pour out these little scandalous looking nugs. I break down this dry, crumbly weed. I smoke it. I'm like, I'll never go to a dispensary again and buy no weed. No. I don't care how the fuck the packaging look. How the fuck the flower look on that big screen with the, with all the uh, stacked images from Photoshop? Oh, I ain't trying to see none of that shit. I'm cool. I'm cool. Every time somebody has brought me back something from a dispensary, it was boof. It ain't worth it, bro. Hell no. It ain't worth it, man. And 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 for the price to be boof, like you boof and expensive. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I spent like. like I spent like sixty something dollars on that motherfucker. Like I'm thinking, yeah. I'm about to go get high, high. No, no. You, <laughs> like, oh, so nah. you are ugly, motherfucker, with high standards. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, shit, crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not gonna do this. East Coast strains are wedding cake, GG4 gelato ice cream cake, and a lot of OG. Uh, GG4 ain't been popular over here in a long time. Um, wedding cake was in and out like a fast food restaurant. It's not terpy enough. You open the bag, it smell almost nothing. Gelato ice cream cake, OG, hell yes. Man. Gelato, gelato over everything. Man, if you got a good cut of gelato, you can grow that for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, that's all you need. That's all. And you when need. somebody say, "What else you got?" Just tell them, uh, make up something like everybody else do. And then, and then give them the gelato. Then somebody say, "It's uh, it's Hawaiian Ranch Real, bro." You can put any name you want to in front of Runtz, it's real. That's how it go now. Runtz has just become that. Just like cookies was. Remember you used to, uh, they had all kind of names for cookies? Mm-hmm. Just put it in front of I'm cookies. I'm sorry, that baffled me. That, that froze me for a second. That baffled me. What, the Hawaiian Runtz? Nah, somebody just said GG4 runs New York and New Jersey. People don't even know what shit, bro. That was, that was and they probably way hella far somewhere in New York. New York big, man. They 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 probably in Syracuse talking that shit. None of them are smoking GG4. <laughs> so yeah, American Booth, right? I come out here. Well, come out here to see some friends and family. And they like, yeah, we got some gas. And I'm like, let me see, man. I'm trying to just trying to smoke with y'all. Let me see. Boy, when I tell you they gas, what they gas is. <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm talking about complete, com complete. It, it's some some shit in progress, man. It's 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 really nice. It's really nice, man. But that shit, bro. Hey, how do I explain it? Okay, I explain it like this. I broke it down on the counter. Mm -hmm. Broke it down on the counter. Looked at it for about three seconds, and swiped to the left into the grass into the trash can. I just straight to the trash. Straight to the no. trash. I'm no. Not smoking that. No. I'm not smoking that. They. I don't want to say too much, but whatever they're getting, all these niggas think that it go by price out here. It's like I'm getting this for this. I'm getting this for this. I'm already oh, so getting this for the, this. So because the price is higher or lower means it's better or worse. No, it's just a price that all these niggas getting the same exact. Oh, price. same price. For everybody, everybody's saying the same exact price, minus or or plus one hundred dollars or two hundred dollars. It's all in that same range. 
on that same range. You know what I mean? And then so it's that like means that they're only so you, one set of quality. That's it. It's one set of quality, and everybody just doing their thing with that one set of quality. And it's like this shit weird to me, bro. Like what? There's no you levels know, to this shit. When I come through and they like, oh, whew, this, oh, who? Okay, like this. It's, this why Cali is Cali. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, and that's like the whole South, damn near, bro. It's like the whole South. Everybody's saying the same shit, the same shit, man. I, 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 I took a drive like six hours east. Same shit. I'm getting it for this. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, yeah. 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 Tripping, bro. Yeah, I gotta I'm understand. It's, it's levels to this. And, like, but these niggas, these is the people I'm talking about that never on Instagram. They never see trees. They never. They're not. They're not open to nothing. They don't see that. To them, it's just another regular day. You got that gas? Okay, I could smoke it. Gas to them is something they could smoke and get high. That's gas. So it's just. That's gas. So they just I took more loud basically and just transferred it over to gas and just everything is gas. It's just gas. It ain't no loud to none of that shit. It's just gas. Quiet as shit. Just gas. Gas, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And it, it, it is like that everywhere, though. My friend yeah. just came back from Atlanta not long ago. Same shit. He said, bro, if we if we went down there with any of this, over. It's different. And it's, it's funny because it's like, I've been hearing all this shit. Like, it's flooded. It's flooded. It's flooded. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. It's flooded. Okay. That's why I had to just go out and visit some friends and family to see, like, what's flooded? What's flooding, y'all? What is this flood I hear of? Yeah, and let, the, let, the let flood is like the flood is like the desert. You don't smell no sand. You don't smell sand. You know what I mean? <laughs> the flood is the desert, man. The flood is the desert. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, y'all, okay, okay. I see what's going on now. That that's that's why sometimes they'll I'll hear it in my area to be like, yo, it's flooded out here. Well, yeah, everybody some, got it. Give, that's the give thing. Me some everybody got it. Everybody got it, but what does everybody got? Yeah, you go anywhere and buy any weed from anybody, it's going to look the same. It's going to be the same shit. I'm talking about it's going to be the same shit. The thing I do like about it is it will stay fresher longer down here because the humidity right around 57%, 50%. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that is something so it, parts it's of cool. California got to deal with. Is there any humid parts of California? Yeah, uh, Humboldt Coastal shit, you know, Mendo okay. Coastal, all that type of shit. But uh, yeah, man, it ain't uh, it ain't it, it ain't it. And I told niggas to their face like this, it was like, yeah, I be getting this right here for like for like a stack. I'm like, but this ain't it. This ain't it. And he like, but it's selling because it's all the they thing. got. It's all you got. I'm like, you okay? It's selling. I'm like, it's selling. But if you had this, your sales about to skyrocket, triple easily, easily. He's like, yeah, bro, I got to add, like, some more money on it. I'm like, nigga, give uh -huh. it for the same price and let it roll. Like, what is y'all? I got to come down here and give y'all a whole blueprint. Wait, wait, wait. It all. It's a Duh. lot. It's a lot of work out here, bro. Wait, wait, wait. It's a lot of work. Duh. What's up? Duh. Yeah, man. Yo, I'd have to make it more expensive. Duh. The fuck? What's $5, bro? You selling this bullshit for $15. You can't get, you can't get the dub? And if you can't get the dub, get in with three in. How about that? You can't get the dub, you short them. Short make, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make yeah, sure the quality. In the long run. Yeah, yeah, man. Y'all niggas don't. And yeah, like the you thing, said, you got to come down and give them the blueprint? Like It's different, bro. It's different. But it's cool, though. I kind of like it because motherfuckers, they out here, they, they humble. You know what I mean? They It's humble. It's like it's just business sense. A lot of people don't have that, man. A lot of people just don't have that 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 business sense. They just want it for a good number, and they'll figure it out. But I'm like, what's the point of having something for a good number if you're gonna have it for two, three weeks? That's what I'm saying. Like, if it don't, if it don't speak for itself, and and move itself, you got issues. Like, if you gotta force people to start taking stuff at a certain point, 
That's that's not good. When you get that, yo, you got anything different? That is the worst call ever. Yeah, like that's the last thing you ever want to hear. But I don't think you hear that out here because Ain't they're not supposed different. they're not supposed to have weed out here. So whatever they get, they like cool. We about to go get high. Period. You gonna get high. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gonna get it high. It ain't no Reggie. I don't know what they call it. They call it gas. I don't, I don't know where the red yet, but I'm pretty sure that's that's it. I just want to know, <laughs> is this dude from the East Coast? East Coast going for fast profit, so they stay with Booth? Uh, I, he always I, saying some... They always saying I just want to know man. where he's from. Like, where, where yeah. are you from that you saying this? Like, Seeing the collector out there. Ah. Giving Doja some, uh, some good trees. Okay. So I was like, cool, collector out there putting some work in man, for the putting East Coast. Work in, putting work in. I was just talking to him the other day. Yeah, he growing some heat too. And let me let me let me say something too. Y'all got mids fucked up. All you motherfuckers got mids fucked up. Y'all that term mids is not mids, my nigga. Yo, sometimes uh, I be looking at some of the shit they call mids, and I'm like, really? What I'm what I got in that greenhouse in the light depth. Yeah, that's mids. That's what mids is. High quality, like tops, that's going to be the best indoor grown shit. That's what's going to be the tops. The shit mm -hmm. that y'all really talking about are lows. Low lows. Low lows. That's what y'all talking about. Y'all talking low about lows. low lows. Low lows. Yeah. Yeah, that's not mids, my nigga. That's, that's Y'all can call it what you want, that's but y'all don't mids. know no better. Yeah, a exactly. lot of people don't know no better, man. Y'all need like a whole class. Well, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, we need to get got, on the phone with one of the Migos one day. I got I got to put put it in uh put it in in, in picture and video form and show y'all the different qualities because what y'all saying is mids is low it's lows definitely is low lows low lows mids is my greenhouse that's mids and I'm cool with that highs is indoor fire packs. With nothing but tops. That's hot. Nothing but That's the tops. shit you're going to pay top dollar for. So that mid-range that y'all talking about, that mid-range is massive, but you're never going to complain about it. Never. Because it's great weed. Matter of fact, some of the some of the highs that you guys have are mids. That's mids. Yeah. Like the highs that the average person is talking about is mids. Like mo most of you guys are not getting the A1 top shelf indoor. Stop the cap. Stop it. You guys are getting A1 depths. That's what you're getting. You're getting A1 depths. If you get A1 no depths, you get A1 depths, that's mids compared to uh, top indoor. quality A1 indoor. That's yeah. mids. But Still it's mids. like, hey, mids is fine. Mids is the Facts. shit. Facts. Mids is, mids is your price point. Mids is your high point. Mids is going to do everything for you. That other shit, you don't even care about the high highs because you're spending money on some shit that's like, I is mean, it's the same effect from the mids. Like, the fuck I gonna do with all that for? Yes, yes. Now the shit y'all talking about, that's just low lows, man. I'm telling you, y'all, it's a low low. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, and, and and I'm talking about the low lows, the the eight hundreds, the five hundreds, like that. That's the booth everybody be talking about. But man, depths, these... depths be fire. Like I don't know what none of y'all be talking about. I don't know the depths y'all be seeing. I don't. I don't know if you guys are are getting. Some bad packs, but I seen some depths that'll knock some indoor runs out. People been smoking mids their whole life. Fact. Whole life. Whole, whole life. life. Even in even in a city like Oakland, mids everywhere. everywhere. And that's good weed, though. It's good yes. weed. Oakland it's niggas got taste, but it's not smoking. It's not top quality, bro. No. Top quality, y'all niggas ain't getting that. That shit don't get to the that shit don't get to the streets. That hold shit up, goes from this up, room to up. another nigga room. We got to drop a bomb for us for hitting 200 on the stream. Make sure y'all hit the like. Ism called it. Yeah, Is Ism called it earlier. He said we hitting 200 on this one. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, but, uh, but most of this stuff that they're calling mids, you got to say it like mids is a bad thing. You got to say it like mids is what it used to mean back in the day, like the with the sticks and seeds and the garbage. No, no. Mids is what the average person is smoking. Mids is all in the dispensary. I've seen 
people open packages in a dispensary that you are not going to convince me came from indoor of anything except for inside of a greenhouse. It's stuff right now in California that's going for the high. I'm talking about 3G still. You'll never see it. Never. You'll never get your hands on it because that go from that go from uh, invite only. That's the invite only type shit. The small batch guys. That's the that's the shit the streets don't even see, my nigga. Yo, Frosty, you, yeah. if, you, if you was on the streets and you hear that, you want it? Hear what? Three, 3K a unit. You want it? If I'm on the streets? Yeah. No. I'm good no. in my mid-range. Yeah. No. Don't fucking want that because none of you guys are going to pay gonna me pay more. It's because the quality is a little bit better. Look what I got to charge at 3K. At 3K a unit, I got I to do $300 zips. Who doing that? Only them guys. I know some. I, know I got a friend go right now rappers. in the gotta, cut. I got a friend right now in the cut. He ain't selling nothing for less than two fifty, and his shit is that. It's it speak for itself. You see, like God damn, yes. that shit is that's highs. That's what you know. What I'm saying those are highs. Yeah, that's for them real kind of sores, man. That yes. really will spend five hundred dollars a zip right now if you got that shit. They don't yeah. give a fuck. But they'll never share that with you. Guys. They'll never share that with you. You're not seeing that. So all that mids talk, yeah, that's everything. Everything you're seeing is that. Yeah, when you see rappers pull out a, a pound of smoke with the team, it's mids. Mids, man. They get mids, man. It's mids. Because he'd have got a zip to smoke for himself at the price that that would have cost. Or maybe two. Like, yeah, I'm know, not sharing no I'm not Because no I'm not like sharing that. none of this. Like, it, so there's no like. point. Like, I, I got some shit that I'm going to share. And this is the shit that I'm not going to share. But I'm telling you, if I was in the streets and I heard 3K unit is no, what, what else you got? Yeah, for real. Oh, that's I'll, much, take, I'll take I'll take a zip it. I'll take a zip it at the smoke for myself, but no. Yeah, man. If you're not in them circles with them real smoker homies and friends, you're not buying no 3K pound, man. No, man, you're not gonna do that. Not no, in Cali. No. Not in Cali. Not at all. You're not doing no. that. But it's people that do, and those people you're not smoking with. No. Because you, you don't know even know Miz is, so you definitely don't know the game. So you're not smoking. <laughs> because you, you smoking go to low them. lows, complaining about it. You would go to Talking them with some of that mids. shit y'all smoking, and they'd be like, nah, these lows, bro. These ain't mids, bro. these lows. All the shit out here that I'm seeing, low lows. Low lows, yeah. Low lows, man. I'm talking low about. Low. And then, like, what y'all think, what y'all think a low low is on the internet is just basically a bad trim job. You'd be like lows, got lows. Okay. Yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? I'll be seeing that a lot. Like it just be a bad trim job. Bad trim so job. So you're trying yeah. to say if I spent the hundred to get it trimmed, these would be uh these would be mids. mids. These would be they be these, mids. Yeah, they'll be mids, huh? Okay. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's how this thing works. And I'm okay with it. Yeah, and I'm okay with it. If it's not if it's not A1 indoor. It's mids, and I'm okay with mids. I prefer sun grown, and I know automatically the fact that it's sun grown is mids. There's no way around it. Yeah, it's gonna fall into the mids category whether I like it or not. And I'm yep. telling you that some of it is better than the indoor that I've seen. But do you, think the market give, do you think the market gives a fuck about that? It was sun grown, it, it's going in the mids category. So I guess I like smoking mids. The highs is gonna be the shit that's the hardest to grow. Yeah, ask me if I, had, I care about smoking meat. I had some highs before, and I would never grow it again. That shit is ridiculous. But everybody wanted it. I ain't gonna lie, it was it was running out. But that shit stressed me out the whole time. Any any anything that's gonna stress me out throughout the whole grow, I don't know what's gonna happen this day with this motherfucking dumbass plant. I'm cool. I'd rather stick with my mids and be happy, man. Call it what you want. Yeah, you think you're downing me talking about you grow mids, and? Most that's what y'all niggas want. That's what you want. Yeah. Let me that's let me fix want. my lips to say, oh, I, I need 20, 2500 for this pound. You're gonna be like, oh, okay. Uh I'm gonna hit you back. Yeah, yeah. Because I'll never get no a mids. call again. I'll never get a call again. The mids. Yeah. Or or they want the highs at mid prices. That's what those I said. Are, those are the guys that fucking kill me. You want the highs at mid prices. That's basically um, what I plan on doing. Is I plan on I plan on getting an automatic. I'm just talking shit right now. I'm planning on getting an automatic light depth situation. One greenhouse, put too many splits in there. Two three ton mini splits in there. A dehumidifier, 
and then have highs. Sun grown highs. Cool with me. And it'll be highs because the temperature be right. Can't tell yeah. me nothing. You wouldn't nope. be able to tell me nothing. Nope. And that's what that's what y'all getting for highs. You think it's indoor, but no, it's just mixed light. It's just mixed light, bro. Like I know, I know the y'all know the games they be playing, bro. Hey, hit, you're not getting no real highs. No. What's up? What do you say? I can't growing see. Growing up, growing up, mids was always a step above swag. I think some people still think of mids that way. Y'all are after the primo. Yes, that, that was back in the day when mids used to be a really bad term. It just used to be something a little bit better than a, than a super garbage. That, yeah, you had a what, you had a bammer. You had a bammer, then you had some green weed with no seeds, and that there was you that go. was it. Yeah. Okay. Now that today, that's, that's not the same shit. Because now, most the, people are still thinking like that. Because weed has took a, a step up so high. We just yeah. stepped it up so high with the quality. The shit y'all calling mids ain't yeah. Ain't it. And if, and if that is what y'all call mids, then yes, I smoke mids. No, I don't have a problem smoking mids. And no, I don't have a problem with you saying I smoke mids. I love it. It's sun grown. I fucking love it. That's, that's just me. And I'll take that over the indoor all day. Ain't nobody going to change my mind on that. Yeah, because you know what you're smoking. You're like, yeah. do I want to smoke this artificial synthetic or do I want to smoke this... Sun grown, that earth. sun grown hit different. Hmm. I don't care. The high I think is I want different. The, sun grown. the high is different. Like most sun grown gets you faded, but makes you want to go back outside and do something. Mm-hmm. Indoor, you you going to sleep, 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 big sleep, sleep. I think if you got the opportunity to grow, do both, so you could just figure it out Definitely. yourself and see what it really is, man. And after years of doing both, I know what I like. I like sun grown. And I don't care if it's in a greenhouse or not. I just like it's sun grown. Is runs mids? That's a stupid ass question. Now, I ain't trying to be mean to you, but that's a dumb question. We just sat here and told you what the difference is in lows, highs, mids, bro. It's where you grow it, how you grow it. It ain't about that. Man. Come on, man. It ain't about that. Y'all it can't use. be mids just because it's runs. How is how nah. is it grown? No, nah, don't work like that. Mm. My garden is better than my grow room. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got to do indoor and outdoor. Then you, you got short of your questions. DM me, man. You got to DM me with short of your questions. I don't. You know, I'm about to do all that. Yeah, no. I like both. We we'll always have a few plants indoors with your sun grown. And and the thing about indoor is sometimes you you, you do that because the outdoor season isn't year round, man. So you're gonna have, have yeah. you're gonna have a little bit of both, you know what and I mean? Some of our but who don't want to be out short. in the sun? Like that shit weird for somebody not to want to be out in the sun. If you got the space, you're gonna be outside. And then you gotta remember some of our grow seasons is even shorter than some some of y'all grow season. So, so indoor is a must because your grow season in September. A bunch of small scale indoor growers are killing it here. A1 quality too, just not a hundred pounds like you get out. And that's the thing. You that's always, funny. when you look at it, you're going to be like, I'm going outside every year. I can't, every year. I can't run away from that bread. Like, what do, nah, we ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that. Something so you call it what you want. Year. I'll accept less. I ain't worried about it. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking what? about? Does nutrient turn lows to mids? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, no. But would lows, you, is, what, lows ain't, yeah, let, uh, let me keep it real with you. Lows ain't nothing but old mids. That's it. That's it. It's mids from a year and a half ago. Yeah, it's last year's mids. It's the shit I got right now in my bin in the bathroom at the house from last year. You look at it, you be like, oh, it look good, it smell cool. I'm like, that's better than the shit y'all got out here. Yeah. Nah, so you know you got lows. If I got some year old shit that's better than the shit you got out here, y'all niggas got low lows and it ain't low no lows gas to it. You got, you got a low low with no gas in it. Yep. You got a low low on no crates. Gas. That's what you got. Low low on crates, man. Reason people can't grow bomb outdoors, they don't 
prune half the plant and they think the sun will do a thing, treat that shit like you have to. No, you don't treat it like you do indoor, man. You must not never grew outdoor. You must not never grow outdoor. You could treat it like you do indoor if you want to, but trust me, that sun going to do its thing, man. You don't need to prune half the plant. You could prune bottom third, just like just like regular. Clean that out a little bit. You'll be all right. And you're good to go. Good to go, man. Genetics. They'll do what they need to out there. Not doing outside to each day on. I love the fact that I go you man. Yeah, you always say that. You don't like outdoor. We understand. You don't like outdoor. I get it. It's okay. You don't have to. But I guarantee niggas in your city, they smoking a lot of that shit. That's all they're they're smoking. smoking. A lot of it. It's all they're smoking. So you don't want that money, that's cool. But they smoking that shit. And you missing out about what what do you do? What do you do? Uh 50 pounds in my backyard, 50 G's? Yeah, Yeah. you're missing out. You're missing out a lot of bread from the sun. Like the sun is here to give you life. And you put your you you say no to the sun giving you life just to be indoor and make yourself satisfied which is okay because you're number one in your life right but Mm -hmm. for a motherfucker that's out here trying to maneuver and get some shit you better take advantage of that son is if you can if you can do it you know what i'm saying see stuff like this just bothers me because if you are smoking and it's coming from your city you got a guy that shit's coming from outdoor the shit's coming from outdoor if you met up with the gang this week and y'all and y'all smoke some za that shit was depths it was that. I, prom- I promise, I promise you, you that. Was, I promise you it <laughs> yeah. was that. Take it from. Because they can't handle the indoor price in these places, man. No, that, so I'm it, trying to tell you. It's going to be too much. And, and you know why they don't fuck with it? Because it's not consistent. No. The plug need consistency. So that's why they fuck with the depths that got 100 pounds. Bro. Yeah, I got 100 here, 100 there. Yeah, I got you. I'm sending I, it. I, I got the it. Guys. They don't have an indoor like that. So you're I know not the guys getting that. going back and forth. I know the guys. I know what they're going to get. I know the growers. I know who they're getting it from. And, and if you think the Asians ain't fucking your city up, you're crazy. You are crazy if you think that Asian depths are not fucking your city up right now. They are. That runs that they called Zaza that you got that came from the Asians. That is some depths. I promise you. It looked like some indoor. That shit is some depth. And you know why it looked like indoor? Because they're growing in glass greenhouses. Yes, top-notch greenhouses. Top-notch greenhouses, bud. With dehumidifiers and quest all over the place. And yes, but that that if you met up with the team and you smoked this week, those packs are from depths. I promise you. Should we even give a fuck? No, hell no. Should we even no? I'm saying, should we even care about giving people game? No. Is it even worth it? Nope, because they're not listening anyway. They don't it's get not, they, it's they, not worth they, it. They, it's they not think worth we're it. lying for some reason. For as, some as reason, if we, man. as if we benefit from saying this, as if we don't grow the depths. We shouldn't even be saying this to you. It's all good. Everybody, just do your thing, man. Do your thing. Yep. Enjoy. But for for the whole America. Frosty, when it was time to raid, eighty percent of y'all smoking lows, man. Bro, Frosty, when it was time to raid out there, and we had to put up the documentation and show where the uh, police was raiding, did they raid yeah. any any indoor places? Or were they going for greenhouses? Uh, greenhouse. You know why they were going for the greenhouses? Because that's what's hitting them. the streets. Hundreds of them, because they wasn't raiding to do something for themselves. They was raiding because the pressure was on from the uh, from the from the indoor facilities. The pressure was on like they man they flooding the town with all this other shit it's cheap yeah they gonna flood that shit and it's where it's gonna go california not buying it no it's, it's going it's, everywhere else everywhere else bro everywhere else. it's going everywhere else and you guys are smoking it and loving it and enjoying it and you're opening it on those little in them little stupid ass bags that say snowman and cookies on them and y'all, yeah. y'all showing it on instagram and they're fucking depths yeah. I know it as soon as I see it I know because I grow depths. So I'm telling you, as soon as y'all, y'all open them bags and y'all and y'all turn y'all flash on and do the little angle thing. Where, yeah, as soon as y'all do that, I know it's depths. as soon as I see it. What hot desert say? Facts. The plug can't wait on your six pounds when they're 10 or 20 pound packs readily available. 
Bro, and this is what I went through personally. I went through this personally. When you coming down? Oh, uh, about a month. About a month. His, look, look, about a month. Then I got about two weeks dry. Then the tremors need a week. So about two months. Dang, all right, hit me. And then how many you got? Uh, shit, a couple people want this. I got about four for you. You know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to hear that shit. They ain't trying to hear that, bro. Ain't nobody waiting on that. Ain't nobody waiting on that. These niggas crazy. It's all good, man. American Booth. It's in your city. Check your neighborhood weed, man. Check your local he got it for you. Ask him, do you got that American Booth? And you're going to be like, what you want? I got gas. All right, that'll do. That'll do. And you, and you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're going to see what he's talking about. We're going to see exactly what he's talking about. And I, I'm trying to tell y'all that I know for a fact that these depths is fucking the local cities up. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, Chosen one. I know that, bro. You think I don't know that it's small networks in every city that's getting down with high quality? Duh. But what's the mask? What is the mask? Those ain't the people putting the dent in <laughs> shit. Come on, I'm man. Talking about the, I'm talking about the shit that's putting the dent in it. The niggas copping 50 to 100. Th those guys, Debs. Debs, man. They ain't Debs. getting that much indoor, bro. That shit Debs. Don't... Who they going to? Jungle Boys to supply him with that? Bruh. Really? Who's supplying that much? Who's supplying and that it, much? And it is suppliers that supply that much, but when that gets to that town, everybody ain't getting that. No. Everybody, everybody ain't getting that. That's for the ball. You know it. that? Do y'all know that in every town you got uh dope boys, uh H boys, Fent boys, uh uh Molly boys? They smoking. And guess All what? Of them. They know each other. So when that come in, when that weed man come in, they buy it from him. Because they want the best. That shit don't go to the rest of y'all, bro. Come no. on, man. I, come on. Y'all got to think bigger than that, man. Like you should know better. Think bigger than that, man. Yeah. Life depth is getting better because the strains are getting better. People weeding out the uh, fake frost. You know what I mean? And, Once and you weed out the people, fake frost, it gets better. And as people get more comfortable doing depths and get more familiar with doing depths. And figure out the right way better. to do depths. They're gonna, it's going to get better. Yeah, and it's fire now. I'm that. not even gonna act like it's not fire now. It's fire now. They're killing it. You it's got, been go, good, go watch, bro. Go watch Burner Sting of that guy who won the little uh, award that had his shit sitting on a table with the packs out. Them Fuck packs all that. Fire. Fuck all that. Fuck all that shit. Go watch my last year of that video. Oh, go go watch uh, Patreon Frosty. Go watch all that shit, but that's it's in fire. Yes. I don't care what you say. Ain't no bird shitting on that. Ain't no dust flying on that. That shit fire. Depths is and where it's that, at, bro. And if Depths that was is in your best local bang city, for anybody buck, man. And if that was in your local city, they'd be repackaging it, calling it uh something else in those little packages and giving it to you for 50 a eighth. That's oh, here we go. Happen. Here we go. If Depths is the best bang for your buck for anybody across the board, for the average man, what is average? Mids. Right? There you go. There you go. That simple, man. It's literally. And I don't get it. Every everybody just think that they're smoking some weed that ain't nobody else smoking. That's bullshit. You, you, <laughs> that shit crazy. Bro. Like you just that smoking shit. some magical shit that ain't nobody else getting. First off, the reason that some people ain't getting it is because they don't want it because they can't afford it. Can't afford it. They can't the afford average, it. The average working man can't afford that shit. They can't bro. afford that. They want a they want a 20 or 25. They they want something right around there and they want it to be good. A dub. They, nice they, nice I little little dub. little dub, little quarter, you know what I'm saying? And they and, and if they want to get fancy on the weekends, they got a little 30. They got a little, they got a little 30 for the weekends. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. They ain't paying that 50 on a regular bruh. It ain't like that no more, man. No. And, and it I ain't know. like that. It ain't like that no more when you used to spend 50, 55, eighth. But that eighth lasts you your whole week because they rolling up point threes in the fucking blunt, man. This that's all you need. You know what I'm that saying? Fact. It ain't like that no more. No. Now they putting apes in the backwood. Like that's indoor. Like yeah, you think they apes in the backwood, indoor, top notch, A1 fire, 3K a unit. That's not regular. Yeah. That's what they're throwing that's inside the backwood. No. Yeah. The average person don't know shit about cannabis. And the that's average the person, fucking fact. Here, here's the thing. The average person don't know if they smoke in depths or indoor because they don't even know what neither of those terms mean. They don't know what it means. They, they don't, don't know what neither of that means. I asked, I asked my cousin. I was like, so what about indoor? What indoor is like? 
I ain't no Andor. They don't know what Andor is. They don't know, they don't what, that, know what, they that, don't what that is. They don't. They don't speak that terminology, my nigga. No. Is it like, weed? Yo, yo, yeah. These you got some weed. What? Yeah. Weed. I don't know nothing about that. Know, where it came from or how I got here is weed. I got. I got a hundred for you, bro. That's all I know. I want some fire. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. They don't even care about the names. We just talked about this. They don't even care about the names of it. None Let of alone do they care about whether it was depths or indoor or d- the people who care about that are usually growers. Or somebody attached to a grower. What, the, no way around. They, the other people don't know those terms. If you want the real bad, depth is the way to go. Yeah. Uh, what somebody else said? Uh, damn, shit's so small. Uh, this creme brulee is some rare weed, my bros. Yeah, but who gonna smoke it? That was from uh, Ficionato, right? Who's smoking it? Probably just you. And a couple other people you don't know. You know what I mean? All that rare weed shit. So, not not saying so to you, but I'm just saying like the mass don't give a fuck what you're talking about. They not searching for no rare weed. They searching for that nigga at the gas station Facts. that's always there with Facts. his little with his with his shit he won't. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Let's just be honest, man. Everybody ain't going to know dispensaries. No, he stopped dispensaries to get his for, or whatever, and he got a guy. Dispensaries is for niggas trying to stunt and niggas. That ain't got no line. And soccer moms. That's it. Soccer moms trying soccer to soccer moms, time teachers, in their 40s, old teachers, people, old people. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. And everybody else got a guy. And and some of those people ain't even going because they got a guy because their kids got a guy. So yeah, I don't know nobody who's just dispensary crazy. Like maybe when they first came out or they first hit a city, you got the lines wrapped around the corner, but uh, maybe for sure, because like, everybody wanted to go places see like cookies. it and yeah. experience it. They yeah. want to experience this new way of buying weed. And then you're like, okay, the old way was better. I could see it. I could smell it. I could, you know what I mean? I could move the jar around. Now it's recreational. Now I can't even see the weed I'm buying. Nope. You just got to trust them and look at this fucking stacked image Photoshop picture on a fucking HD screen. It ain't. That ain't cool. That and then you cool. open ain't the bag, cool this shit been that. sitting around here for I don't know how long. It done lost its smell. Like, it done lost it. And you don't know this until after you've already purchased it. Yeah, that shit ain't no good, bro. I watch a lot of reviews online. Like, when I think about strains or dispensaries, sometimes I just like to go and watch reviews of people going to dispensaries, buying stuff, and smoking it. And a lot of them keep it 100, and it'd be a lot of booth. Yep, that's why growing your own is very important. Because yeah. you, need to, you need to know what you're growing and how to take pride in it. And you can see what you're growing was was uh mids or not. Like I grew like what 12, 13, no, I grew like 16 different strains, this last one indoor. And I know which one that I'm looking towards eliminating. You know what I'm saying? You you'll know, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out, man. $85 in AZ. What's 85? Outdoor zip. He might have been talking about the outdoor zips. Give me one second. 85. What's 85? Outside. Um, probably zip. Ah, keep those tents and raised beds racking over here. I cannot read that shit. That shit straining my fucking eyes to read that, man. But yeah, man, it's a lot of booth out there. And and if you don't know, you don't know. You know what I mean? Nobody said that. They just say, if you know, you know. What if you don't know? Hey, you know what I'm saying? What if I don't know? What, what's going to happen then? I guess you just don't know. Hey, $85 an eighth? Whooping y'all ass, boy. Whooping y'all ass. ass. If she 85. was 85 an eighth, man, I'm growing. I'm growing straight A1. If the shit, if I'm only... If I'm depending only on the dispensary and y'all trying to tax me 85 or 8th, I guarantee I'm at the table every night trying to figure out how to rob y'all. Facts. Facts. I need my money back. Income tax. How can I get in this motherfucker? Yeah. 85 what we need to do. and 8th. Yeah, that's 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 crazy. And AZ, so the weed probably dry too? Dry as hell. <laughs> Throw that shit against the window and just... <laughs> like, dang. 
Drop that shit on the floor. It looked like crumbs on the floor. Like, yeah, done know. for. Done dust for. Dust bunnies. That's the real definition of dust bunnies. Sixty all day. Come shot. Y'all crazy, zip. man. All this should be real talk. Maybe one fifty tops. Depends on the weed. Now that's some booth dispensary. Seventeen to thirty five on eighth in St. Louis. I don't want none of that. I don't want to see that about nothing. I can't trust that. I can't be stopping at mids. I need to do better than that. Help me. Run indoor oh. fire. All you got to do is just grow your own shit. You be all right. Yeah, get a tent. It's hard to it's hard to grow your own and call it mids. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Facts. That's gonna be hard. Especially in like indoor in a tent. That's gonna be hard. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Now, now that I think about it, yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? Indoor, go for like 200 to zip in Maine. Same here. Roughly. Indoor. And that's not even that's not even the indoor hype strain. That no, ain't the indoor grown, hype strain. That's grown just indoor. growing indoors. Growing yeah. indoor. That's what I'm saying. That's the clientele you want, bro. The streets get a 200 to zip easy. Depending on the streets, yeah. It depends what streets you on, though, too. You know what I mean? It yeah. just depends. Yep. But yeah, right around that price is normal for some fire. I go to dispensary mainly until my harvest already. It's worth avoiding shady plugs. And yeah, you ain't got no friends, bro. Yeah, you ain't got, just, that just that was my first thought. Yeah, you just ain't got no friends. I ain't finna be lying to y'all. You ain't got no friends, bro. If you, you gotta got no go friends. through shady people, you ain't got no friends. You ain't got no friends. Yeah, I never had that problem. G units all day. Yeah, it's G units all day. It's just bullshit G units. You don't want that. No. Or maybe you do want that. Or maybe it's flooded out there because that's all they want. Y'all ever think about that? It's flooded because all y'all niggas is low, low smokers? Yes. Maybe, no, maybe that's no, the reason. No, hold up. Hold because up, if you up. rejected that bullshit, your plug will have to send better shit. No, that's literally what it is. That's literally what it is. The average person, mid-range average person, wants the cheap shit. So since they want the cheap shit, you think a plug is going to go out of his way to get the most expensive shit when the bulk of the people, we're talking like 85% of the, of, the, of the smokers, want the cheap shit. Then you got the 15% who wants the A1. Well, I'll get a little bit of A1 for the 15%, but for the bulk of it, I'm getting the mids because it's what they want. That's all they're bringing over because that's all them motherfuckers is going to move. That's all bro. that's going to move. You could bring something more expensive if you want to. You're going to sit and it's going to sit a lot longer. A lot longer. People think about that number first, man. They like, damn, I got to pay this high-ass gas price, high-ass rent. The bitch on my nerves. Uh, she ain't working. She ain't doing nothing. I got to take care of her. The kids need food. And you got $15 eighth and he got a $25 eighth. I'm gonna get the low lows this time. I'll get you on the next one, buddy. Yeah. And you're gonna be like, damn, I only so fucking, you know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't working out. No. So you're gonna call your man back. Yeah, don't send no more of these. Go ahead and uh go ahead and send me them stacks. Lo yeah, them load me up on those. Yeah. yeah. Let me, me just do that. Them. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what happens. And that's literally the reason is because the average person is the bulk smokers. Is the average people that don't have a lot of money. It's not the rappers. It's not the, the, the uh, basketball players. It's not the trap stars. It's not those guys. Those aren't going to be the bulk of where the money's coming from in the cannabis world. It's going to come from the average working person at McDonald's, CVS, uh, Walmart. Those are the, the bulk of the smokers. And they don't have enough to be buying no $300 zips every couple of days. Like, And when they had enough... When, remember, when they had enough to buy the weed, that's when it wasn't flooded with Lolos. Because motherfuckers were spending money because they had it. And that's when the, uh, what was that, the, uh, the pandemic? Everybody had an extra 600 a week. Exactly. They like, nigga, I want that shit. If it, ain't, less, if it ain't 50 yeah. and 85, I ain't smoking it. I, yeah, I, I'm what... dropping racks on the Zaza. Yeah, yeah. Now that yeah. shit gone. You back at Family Dollar. 
And you like shit. I ain't shit, I ain't got it like that. Where the fifteen dollars yeah, at now it's flooded with mids. And people wondering why it's flooded with mids. Yeah, niggas ain't got money like that, bro. Supply to demand. Nobody got no money like that. Everybody ain't no hustler like you. You know what I'm saying? No. Can't afford the, that shit. And the average person just want a little eighth until they can make sure they can afford one in a couple more days. That's the and average. And let's think person. about let's think about what cannabis really is. It's medicine, bro. I need my medicine cheap right now. So I'm not about yes. to stack up and spend more money on the medicine I need just because I want a better medicine. I need the medicine right now. Period. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy this because that's all I got. So yes. that's just what it is. The bulk of people need their medicine, bro. Life is hard, man. People yes. always thinking shit just sweet because you got something going on. Because you were able to have your tent in your room and you growing your own. You thinking everybody should just do this, smoke good. Like it ain't that way, bro. It ain't like that. Most mm -hmm. of these motherfuckers is two families in the house. They sharing rooms. You know what I'm saying? It's not shit ain't easy like that. This it's ain't no great. Lit. This ain't no great America like that. Yeah, they got they got you thinking shit is lit out here. Like, no, people are really hurting, and people want something that's a little bit cheaper and still great. So, shout out to the guys out there doing all of the depths. The guys that uh, spent their time out there sweating, pulling them tarps for us because you're literally making the world go round. You're the reason that it's some children out here without a whooped ass because mama was able to get a little bit of relief. Facts. Uh, you're the reason that you, you saved daddy a lot of shootouts. Daddy ain't kill mama. Yeah, you daddy didn't see what kill I'm saying? Mama All of this thank, is because of, shout out to the mids growers out there that put in that work to pull those tarps throughout the hot season to make sure that we don't have to experience the drought that normally happens this part of the summer because we didn't have depths before. But uh, so shout yeah. out to the people who got rid of the drought that normally comes in the summertime by still giving us something because people still need their medicine. Like you said, even it's if medicine. it's not, it's still just their it's medicine. medicine. We got to go to the basics, man. You know, that's what that's what it is, man. It's recreational, it's that, but it's medicine really, first, man. It's that fuck it in your system. That's what you need. It has that cannabinoid called fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You, and you need that in your system. Bring a book buyer to the prop and have everyone come through. Can you finish reading that? Left eye? I yeah. can't read that shit. Bring the book buyer to the prop and have everyone come through. And whoever he picks and buys from, they're going to pay $20 tax per pound he sold to the guy. I have no idea what that means. Y'all oh, niggas wild, bro. We got a wild ass chat, man. I ain't going to lie. We got a lot of dope motherfuckers. We got a lot of uh, other motherfuckers. We got a dope ass chat. And that's how the world is. Yeah, it's a, a diverse of chat. All you motherfuckers. We got a very diverse chat. Hey. Yeah, shout out to the depths, man. Never hate the self made. What you say? What do you say? Self made? I, yeah, what do oh. you say? Uh never hate the depth growers. Get your money, but the growers know what they want to smoke outside of bigness business or biz, big business. Yeah. I, mean, I want to, of course. I, if you're I, growing, I wanna, you know what you want to smoke. You spoil. You the grower. That's I obvious. Smoke, I I'm spoiled. I see. Yeah, I'm smoking the. I'm smoking the dope shit. I'm growing. So of course you're gonna be spoiled. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I, I personally want to smoke depths. Like, but give me that all day. <laughs> yeah, man. I prefer sun grown. Like, like indoor be okay, but ain't busting like that sun grown be. Yeah, man. Take yourself out of it, people. Think about it. Take yourself out of it. Your opinions are your opinions. But we're talking about American booth. We all Americans in here, right? Couple of people out of the country. Shout out to y'all. But for the most part, we Americans. And for the most part, everybody ain't smoking good, man. No. Everybody ain't smoking good, and everybody don't give a fuck about smoking good. No. Niggas they just, just want to roll smoke. that crunchy. They open up their little box. They got a little box. They open up their little box, grab their joint out of there, sprinkle some of that dusty ass weed on there, roll that shit up, light it up, and uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, I'm my day good. I'm gone. I'm good yeah, now. It. I can go they cook now. I can clean shit. the house now. I can now I can uh, to deal with these kids. I can do everything I need to do now because of that right there. And really, and that, shout out to those people because facts. those are the people that's getting their ass up, going to work, making this motherfucking world go around, and not focus on something so trivial as who got the best weed. Can I drop a bomb for them? They don't care about that. They got real world problems that they worried about. The last thing they worried about is this indoor or depths. 
Like, and some people got real world solutions that they offer into the world. Let's not forget about them. There's a yeah. lot of people out there that's really solving problems that just smoke and get a little buzz and don't give a fuck what who grew it, what the name of it is, where it comes from. I don't care about that. Is it weed? It's, it's cannabis, good. right? Yeah, yeah, roll that up. Let me smoke some and get back to my book and get back to writing some shit and doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? So you, you feel me? So we sitting here because we in this community and we talking about some shit that re really don't matter. We're going to keep on talking about it, but at the end of the day, these strains and strain names and highs and lows, none of that shit matters because I could smoke some lows right now and had a time in my motherfucking life. Facts. You know what I'm shit, saying? Shit, we seen it firsthand on the show. And I can smoke the, some highs right now and be looking at that like, damn, this cost that much? This cost that much in it? I feel the same way as when I smoke the lows. So what's really going on? The taste, the taste was better. The taste. Yeah, I taste. The taste, the taste was better. Drink some juice then, nigga. Hibiscus. Yeah. Pop some of these in your mouth. Pop some of these good ass uh sour patch watermelons. You know what man, I'm saying? You're gonna be saying, all right. Hit, hit the blunt twice, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right, man. You're gonna be all right, man. Whatever, whatever you feel like spending your money on, that's your choice. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said before, I, uh, uh, everybody got their own preferences. You know what I'm saying? Some people, some people want Nikes only. Some people like me, I'll take some motherfucking boots, some different type of boots, some Skechers. Some I don't get. I don't gotta have Nikes all the time. It's just my preference. Yep. You know what I mean? What am I doing this for? That's what I look at. What am I doing this for? What am I trying to accomplish? Like sometimes if I don't want to be too high during the day, I'll go in that bin that's in my bathroom and roll some of that last year's shit up. Hit that a couple of times. I'm cool. I'm like, oh, I'm cool. Yeah. yeah. I smoke that low lows too. Yeah. And then I'll go back to the mids at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. just, it, it don't matter. Frosty, we got to be real. The only people that should be speaking are high mids and low lows is big buyers. Some of you guys are just decent sized smokers. It shouldn't even be a conversation for you because that's a conversation between big buyers. Like none, none of you guys should even be dealing with that. You're smoking zips, halves and, and apes. That's not a conversation that you need to be having. Speaking of big buyers, huh? How are they looking at it? Let's think. How are they looking at it? Hmm. How long is shelf life we got with this? Maybe. What? Uh, any of it? Like the grade, the grade of it. Oh, you 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 know, if it's high highs, get rid of it right away. Mm -hmm. Anything else is like you said. Next year, the mids from last year become the lows, and the new harvest become the mids. Yep. Yep. This man downplaying his chat like he know everyone life, huh? I don't, but I'm gonna tell you everybody in here not a big buyer. Facts. Not everybody. That's just, it's just common sense. Not everybody, bro. Because some of y'all wouldn't be grown in tents. I'm glad. I'm glad all y'all. I'm glad that the chat is full of saying, "I grow this, I buy this, I do this." That makes me happy because y'all ain't no lazy motherfuckers. Facts. Y'all out here doing something. Waking I up respect y'all just for that. You know what I mean? Facts. Drop a bomb for the chat, man. Y'all doing something. Facts. That mean y'all out here motivated on y'all purpose doing what y'all truly love doing. And y'all also love growing at the same time. I fucks with it. Yep. That's dope. But that's dope, man. But yeah, man, 8 o'clock. Uh, I hope all is well. And if not, I hope you get well and stay well. The sun is going down a little bit out here. And uh, I hope I'm about you to, get to get a little cool breeze. Yeah, I'm about to go get in the traffic, man. See what else this motherfucker got to offer. See see if I can see some more Lolos and talk talk them niggas out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Try to change their life a little Try bit. Try to change their life a little bit, man. Might as well. Yep. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Shout out to everybody for helping us hit 200 on the stream. Y'all are the GOAT. Shout out to our chat. You already know. Beast Coast, baby. Yeah. What's up with your Green Table family? I hope all is well. And if not, I hope you get well and stay well. Make sure that you visit Miracrop.com. That is Miracrop.